Ladies and gentlemen, hello there, friends. Mad greetings, good day, and welcome back to the gluttonous world of Let's Play Little Nightmares. The Secrets of the Maw, Chapter 2, its finale, The Hideaway. Yes, indeed, that is correct. Like I said, at the end of the last episode, today we are going to finish this very chapter. And afterwards, ugh, I don't yet know. Ah, even though I said that I wouldn't like to do it, perhaps. Perhaps we are going to plunge ourselves into the beginning of the third chapter. I mean, after all, we are approaching the very end. Might as well embrace it, am I correct? But first, the gnomes must be gathered in order to feed the furnace. And then we are going to ascend away from all this towards parts unknown. Ah, but how does one acquire the gnome up above? Ah, just drawing and drawing and drawing away. How does one acquire him? Let us see. Ah, this very thing here. Ah, moving back and forth, it has got something to do with it. Ah, a puzzle, eh? I can solve your puzzles. Yes, indeed, I can. Ah, perhaps it needs to be pushed a little. Ah, that gnome. He is drawing. But what exactly is he drawing with? Ah, couldn't possibly be a pen, correct? Of that size? No. I do believe it might be a piece of coal. Because, well, all of the drawings happen to be black. Could be a piece of coal, right? I mean, they certainly got enough of the stuff. Interesting. But what exactly does that imply? Because these drawings, uh, we have been able to find them all over the moor. Like, how exactly did they get the coal away from here and then spreading it to uh, their friends? Who knows, who knows? The gnomes, they found a way. Uh, and I need to find a way as well. Let's see. Just gonna grab this and now. Hmm, could this be enough to take care of the job? Ah, it really depends. I need to see and observe how it moves. How much rather? Let's see. All right, should be enough for a jump. Ah, one second. Ah, you stay down here, Jim. Be a good boy. Ah, and I am going to be a good boy as well. All right, a running start. Ah, all right. Ah, it needs, uh, it needs to move a little closer though. Actually, does it? All of these drawers, I wonder. Aha! What do you know? You can climb them. Ah, well, this is certainly making things a lot easier. Yeah! Ha! And there we go. Hmm, how oh dear, how oh dear. And here I thought, perhaps this would provide us with enough time to fill an episode, but no. <sighs> I don't wish to stretch it unnecessarily though, however, and thus I do believe we are just going to do <sighs> what I said earlier, plunging ourselves into the third chapter, it is going to happen today. <sighs> oh my oh my, the hype is real, be excited ladies and gentlemen. But first, this here gnome, he isn't even running away like the rest, just distracted, drawing and drawing. Alright, my friend, here we go. Hmm, 
Is that a cruel thing? To dress the eye and tear him away from his work? Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Ah, but soon, I am sure. Soon, uh, he is going to forget all about it. Now, carefully drop him. Ah, like a feather. Ah, oh dear. Oh dear. But I landed like a stone. Ah, not unpleasant at all. Alright, you guys, you must uh, follow. You must follow indeed, but wasn't there like a third gnome? As far as I remember, when I opened this drawer, wasn't there a third? Uh, where did he go? Aha! Uh, all the way down there, can barely see him in the corner. And he is just scared. Oh dear. Ah, at least that makes it simple to get a hold of him. There. There. I'll even carry you, my friend. And thus the family has grown once more. Aha, uh -huh. can you believe it? Yeah. I came up here expecting to find a single gnome, but there were three in total. Bloody hell, bloody hell, so many gnomes. And now, my friend, you will receive the honor. Ah. Uh, Alright, I suppose a second must receive the honor as well. Because I would like to get out of here. Ah, come on, really. And a third, three times, the charm, I understand. The power of teamwork. Once again, the power of teamwork prevails. Hmm, but if I leave, would they be able to follow? I... I don't think so. It's gonna close too fast. Hmm. Ah, look at this right here. Ah, next to the box. As if somebody moved it. Well, I suppose it'll get moved again. Ah, you guys. Ah, you guys, I understand that you wish to be with me. But this is just uh, wasting everyone's time now. Ah, my time, your time, the time of the audience. Ah, oh dear. Ah, really? Are you going to... Ah, my god. Ah, you guys, what are you doing? Don't you wish to leave? Ah, don't you wish to acquire some warmth? Ah, you know, I was uh, questioning it a couple of episodes ago. Like, why the hell do they wish to empower the furnace? Ah, what could be the reason? But perhaps they are just in need of some warmth. Simple as that. Ah, why do you wish to turn on? A furnace, because it creates a heat. Yeah, sometimes uh, you you just uh, cannot think of the most obvious of solutions, the most obvious of explanations. <laughs> you guys, I swear to God. It is easy and to love you, and difficult and to hate you. Ah, but bloody hell. Three times a charm. Come on now. Ah, uh, is that enough? Ah, it should be. Should be enough. Can't push it any further. Alright, you guys, you may choose to let it go, this time for real. 
Alright, fine. I'll just be the first. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. Come on. I can see you. It is safe. Don't be afraid. There. Ha, he is a brave one. Ah, uh, what about the rest of you? Come on. Ah, bloody hell. There. Ah, uh, always uh, one. Always uh, one of them. Who doesn't wish to follow through? But now... Ah, uh, time to descend. First, we must descend. Then, we can ascend. That is how it works. And a one. And a two. And a three. Ah, goody goody. Hmm, I wonder, I am still missing a single collectible. Could it be up here? Ah, if I miss it, whatever. But it could be up here, correct? Hmm. Ah, oh well, oh well. I say we are just going to move on. Proceed. That is more important than a lone bottle. Aha, isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, you guys. They know exactly what to do. They know exactly how it works. And now, things are about to get really, really loud, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Uh. Ah, yes, of course. Ah, yes, of course. How, uh, how could I forget? Ah, uh, once more. One of you. Ah, uh, what would I do without you guys? There. Freedom. At last, freedom has been achieved. Uh, getting away from him. The clutches of the caretaker. Forever. Alright, you guys, I have got a job for you. And you can believe me. Your friends, they are looking forward to meeting you. Believe it, believe it. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen. Let us do this. Let us feed the furnace one last time, and then ascend into uh, God knows where. Come on now, come on. Ah, uh, what the hell is your friend doing? All right, you two have fun, play nice, but... What? Ah, uh, what the? Did... did that just happen? Whoa. All right. But in need of one more. Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, it is happening. And I am not even there to see it. But this guy, he just uh, kind of appeared. Like, out of thin air. Am I correct? I didn't imagine that. Oh dear. This place is getting to me. The coal. The darkness. I want to leave. Oh, you little troublemaker. And quiet loud in here. So loud, so loud. I can't even hear my own voice. But, my children, ah, I am going to miss you. It has been a pleasure working together with you all. Ah, thank you for everything. Thank you so very much and be safe. I am going to miss you all. Ah, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.
this is certainly intimidating. Another gaping maw consuming the coal. Oh bloody hell, it is so very very loud in here. Uh, I suppose we are just going to proceed now. Just going to proceed. My oh my. friend, another gnome, up here. Ah, my oh my, gonna miss my old children, but I have already found new ones, goody. So what is this, like a second furnace? Is it somehow connected to the first? Ah, I don't know. Ah, the furnace down below, it like, it powered the, ah, I still don't know what to call it. The, uh, the transportation elevator to feed the second furnace would call. Alright, alright. So, is this the furnace that is now creating heat, warmth, energy? Are they both creating it? I don't know. But there are certainly lots and lots of garbage around. Hmm. As always. Lots and lots of pipe work. Ugh, what is that up there? A random coat hanger? Yeah, carrying two socks. Alright. How amazingly random. Ah, my friend, where did you go? Don't go where I can't follow. Another event. I wonder, I wonder, could this be like one of the events that we were able to see uh, via the security mechanism? I might be wrong, but where does this go? Aha, perhaps another hideaway of the gnomes? Oh dear. Hello, hello, hello. It is all quiet, all of the sudden. Huh. It is interesting, isn't it? All of the sudden, the noise is so far away. Hello. Ugh. Another toy monkey. I don't trust you guys anymore. Collectibles? Still missing one. Hmm, I bet there is something behind this. Definitely. Hmm. Plenty of boxes. But nothing else. Nothing exciting, nothing important. Just the silence. But where is the gnome? Hello? Hello, hello, friend? Hmm. Alright, we are just going to push onward. Hmm. What? Ah. Uh, hello? Oh dear. Oh my, oh my. What is happening? Oh my, oh my. Oh my god, uh, you look like my last children, exactly like Jim, uh, Jim 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and so on and so forth. Ah, uh, that music, it is 
soothing. What the hell is happening? Like, these little critters. They are so curious. Uh, you can't tell me that they are not intelligent. I couldn't move it, not on my own. Suddenly they appeared. And they did it for me. Ah, bloody hell. Because I have gained their trust. Because I decided to help them out so much. Good lord. I am so very much the opposite of Six. Whereas she only occasionally, I don't know, ran into them. She never really tried to help them that much. The runaway kid, however, he has become a part of their family. Now what? What am I about to see here? Uh, I'm trying. Trying to move through. My oh my. Now this is a sight. And truly, truly a sight to behold, isn't it? And just some warmth. That is the reason behind it all. Why the gnomes downstairs are now slaving away. Because they wanted to provide their brothers and perhaps sisters with warmth. That is all. And I helped them. I made it possible. Oh, this is awesome. Look at them all. So many gnomes. Just, what are they? Where did the gnomes come from? Why are they here, inside the maw? They can't just be vermin. Ah, good lord. I feel like I just want to stay here. Stay here with them. What am I supposed to take from it? I am trying to interpret the scene. Hello, friends. Anything else in here? Hmm. Ah, well, one of them is certainly following me. Ah, what do you want, little guy? Don't want me to leave? Ah, I don't want to leave either. For a second, I thought, ah, maybe the last collectible was over here, but no. Just another monkey set. Ah, delightful. Hmm. You know, I just noticed this, like, randomly, but look at the shadows the gnomes are casting. Those shadows look entirely different. The gnomes, they are, they are small. They have got pointy and pointy hats. But those shadows just look like regular old people. A round head, a normal body. Those shadows look like the shadows of children. In fact, standing next to them, their shadows look exactly like mine. What does it mean? What does it mean? Is this like... Uh, isn't this like something that carries meaning? Their shadows. Are they just children themselves? 
Ach, what could be uh, behind it all? I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps if you are a child and you stay within the moor long enough, you just eventually turn into a gnome? I mean, that would be totally random, of course. Ach, what a crazy idea. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Just lots of toys here. And dolls. And the gnomes. This is their hideaway. Their home. How long has it been their home already? Ugh, up there. Up there is the exit. Must I really leave? I don't wish to leave. My friends. I don't wish to abandon them. Ah, good lord, you taught me so much about teamwork and friendship. Ah, I hope I was able to teach you all a thing or two as well. Ah, Who would have thought that the finale of this chapter would get so ah, deep and emotional? Ah, it has been an honor. It has been an honor serving you, helping you, working together. But now I must go. Unfortunately, it needs to happen. I must go. I must be elsewhere. Ah, don't. Don't follow me, Jim. I am going to miss you as well. Going to miss you so much. Come here. Ah, one last hug. Ah, one last. Spinning around for all time's sake. And now, and now, please stay here. Stay with your friends, Jim. And thank you. Not gonna forget you guys. Not gonna forget you ever. You can't follow. I am sorry. He tried, but he can't follow. Ah, and this is... This is awful. <laughs> like... They don't want me to leave. Ah, he is so frustrated down there. Ah, I am sorry. Ah, looks like... I couldn't find... The fifth collectible. But whatever, perhaps it was hidden somewhere in plain sight. But I don't care. Ah, just leave. Just leave. And don't look back. Ah, oh dear. Oh dear. What is happening now? The more is shaking. That's not good. Sounds. Sounds over on the right. And back into the shadows. Back into the void. <sighs> Farewell, my friends. Farewell. Mm, past the pipework. And through another gap. Sure, why not? Where is this going to take us? Where is the journey of the runaway kid going to end? I don't know. I don't know. I mean... Uh, I mean... Six. She never met him again. So, obviously... Uh, both of their paths... They split. She is going to be up there inside the guest area and then the quarters of the lady she is going to obtain freedom but what exactly is our boy going to obtain all right all right all right through here <gasps> oh god i dropped what is this an elevator Oh my 
my god. Oh my god, oh my god. My god. It was her. It was her. And she noticed. Oh my god. She noticed. Our presence. Oh my god. Of all the fucking places. That's where you put me. The very elevator she was using to ascend herself. The Lady of the Moor. She is back. She is back. And now I am here. I am here. Oh dear. Passed out, eh? Uh, I bet it happened because of her. She looked up. And suddenly everything turned black. Ach, it is time to awaken, my friend. One last time. You must awaken. You must be strong. <laughs> oh dear. The nightmare becomes reality. She is gone, eh? Perhaps. She noticed? but chose to not do anything about it. Ah, good lord. Ah, but thinking back, how she reacted when Six appeared? Oh my, oh my. She was quite violent and aggressive back then. I guess she didn't fully notice that I am here. Ah, otherwise, perhaps she would have like and tried to kill me on the spot. But no. But no, I am still here. Ah, fortune favors me, smiles down upon me. But now what? Well, well, well. If this wasn't the mother of all shortcuts, where the hell has this elevator taken us? My god, it must be the very top of the moor. Ah, I can hear sounds. Don't know what they are. But this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, welcome to the final chapter of Secrets of the Moor. What is it called? You're going to see very, very soon. Alright, I need to get out of this elevator shaft. But how? This looks climbable. Something above me. Looks like I could use it to swing. And there is a vent. Ah yes, it is all coming together. Ah, bloody hell. Bloody hell, bloody hell. Where am I? You. Yep. Don't fall, don't fall. Ah, uh, towards infinity and beyond. So far, so good, I dare say. Ah, <gasps> uh, good lord. Always dropping me. Uh, is that a gnome? There is a gnome here. Uh, well, thank god. I am starting to feel better already. Uh, hello there, Jim. Uh, it, is, uh, it is good to see you. My oh my, what are you doing up here? Are you even aware of the fact that your friends are down below? Uh, currently enjoying some uh, much, much needed warmth? Perhaps he doesn't know. He is just a lone gnome up here. And apparently there are more. Just gnomes everywhere. Hmm. Ah, what is this? Ah, a pile of garbage. Of course, naturally. 
but this area. Uh, what is this? A small room. Uh, and a gap, of course. Just like uh, an empty uh, maintenance chamber to access pipes and valves and uh, god knows what else. Alright, let us do this. Uh, the lady, she is gone. But where are we? <gasps> oh, this is eerie. Where am I? Good lord. Good lord. Looks exactly like the ladies' quarters. Just as fancy. My oh my. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where she lives. Uh, welcome to chapter number three, The Residence. My oh my oh my, what have we gotten ourselves into this time? Uh, from the kind of safest of locations, straight into the most dangerous of locations. Oh, this is her territory. Yeah, if you thought that experience at the end of the main game was too short-lived, her quarters, well, here you go, ah, your prayers have been answered, here is more, and I must now endure it, goody. Just a mountain of books, like a small library. Aha. And straight behind these bookshelves, yeah, the maintenance chamber that I was just in. Oh dear. The carpet has been rolled out for us. It is too quiet. Am I the only one? It is too quiet. Oh dear, ladies and gentlemen, ah, looks like I was able to fill an episode after all. Thank you all so very much for watching. My name has been The Shadow Cookie. And when we return with Let's Play Little Nightmares, well, ah, I have already said it a couple of times. Ah, but once more, the finale, the third chapter of Secrets of the Moor. Our journey is about to reach its conclusion, but what will we find there? Until then, one and all, until then.